great news. The PowerDirector video app is now available on iOS devices. So join me in this short tutorial as I show you how to edit a video on PowerDirector on an iPhone as quickly and as easily as possible. Let's go over to my phone. I've just installed PowerDirector for the first time on this iPhone and now we're going to go and open it up. I don't obviously have any projects yet so we're going to start a new one. And I already know I want to edit my coffee shop footage. I'm just going to call this coffee shop project. And I filmed it in 16 by 9. So we're going to keep it in that. That means my editing app is going to ask me to turn my phone. So let's just readjust the camera quickly so you can see what I'm doing. That's better. This app will open up in the library mode because it wants you to source footage. Now, if you keep everything in your albums like I do, you'll find there's the album with the footage that I want for this edit. And now as best as I can, I'm going to add the clips by tapping, tapping them in the sequence that I want them to appear. So let's get that one in. Then let's get that one in. And I'll just keep running through this for a moment. If you get it wrong, it doesn't really matter. You just try your best to get, get it in a sequence that best makes sense. And I might have made a mistake, but we'll, we'll just redo it a bit later if need be. And let's add that. Add that. And we'll end off with uh, this one over here. And last but not least, we'll end off with the, the logo again. Okay, so if you tap them, it just ends up at the back of the timeline again. Right, that looks good. I'm happy with that. And now we can go back. That's back to the menu. And back again takes you to your preview screen. All right, this video is now, let's see at the back there, one minute and 36, which is not bad, but we want to see if we can clean that up and bring it down. Especially if I start playing this video. Yeah, you see how these clips drag on. I need to trim them down. To help me decide what to trim it down to, you know, how do I know when, it, when it's right? I'm going to choose some music. Now we're going to go back again to the menu and choose uh, some music. And because I don't want to use any of my iMovie, uh, uh, iTunes music, I'm just going to go and find something that's on here already. It's just a couple of tracks. I don't know, that, that one looks like it'll work for this. 24 seconds long. Let's just add that in. And let's go back. Let's have a listen. It's quite aggressive, but you know what it'll do for, for this video. It keeps it nice and upbeat so we can shorten it. I'm going to bring the volume down just a little bit to make it less uh, in your face. And now we have the opportunity to zoom in a little and just start making these trims. So let's go. Way too long. Let's take that and shorten it down to that. The next clip I can already see, look at that thing. It's forever long, it's 33 seconds long. So I'm gonna find a part where I want it to start, still not, somewhere there, there. Highlight it and we split it. Made a split there, let's play. There we go, we split it again. This back end we can get rid of, delete it. And the front end I can delete it. I'm left with just that piece all the way back there, that piece in the middle that I wanted to keep. And let's go. That was okay. I couldn't hear him. The music's a bit too loud, but we'll come back to music a bit later. Right now, I want to focus on just trimming these clips to a short little usable moment. 
and on this timeline I can see exactly how long the clips are so I'm just going to trim off you know the front and the end so I just keep that little piece that I want let's have a look at those yeah that's fine next one let's go there that's the only piece I want from there so you can either trim it but in this case it's easier to just split it there take that and delete it much quicker I like the split tool in that case I'm just going to trim off the back and let's fly through the rest of this so the front is a bit shaky and out of focus let's go from there and at the back we trim that off just to there short little piece moving on trim and trim that front piece let's split that delete that and again split take the front piece delete it and let's see play cool but again I, I'm a, I don't like these long clips as soon as I've understood what I'm seeing I know I don't need that back end again so again take that split it and delete it put that down once it's down it's finished split that take the piece delete it big sip don't want that front piece I'm going to trim it away somewhere there and play okay and then he comes in and talks about the coffee shop which we'll have a list cool that's great and then we'll end off with just the logo again which can be a bit shorter okay first problem here is the music that I picked isn't long enough so I have the option obviously of finding better music but I can also just duplicate it and it'll it'll just carry on playing oh let's play that through now okay so that works obviously where the video ends we're just going to take the music there make a split and delete the back end so it doesn't drag on but you can look at that the whole video is now 38 seconds uh, which is a whole lot better than it was before the let's add a fade out at the end of that music and what's going to be important as well is to take the clips where people are talking like this one more than anything and I'm going to make a split in the music there and a split where he finished talking split and you see this little piece of music here come on uh, uh, undo sorry that was me rushing through this we take that piece and we turn the volume of that down to somewhere around 27 so when the video comes into a when the video comes into effect here see how the music's gone down but you can listen to him and then back up and it fades out nicely so that sort of rounds off the video and officially we now we have a cool yeah just under 40 second video which is sh quick and engaging and we can share that on social media uh, that people will definitely want to watch more than the original footage now let's share this and we want to save it to our gallery and uh, because this is the free version I can only have a 720p but that's fine we'll produce it if you want full HD you've got to buy 
The other downside to having the free version is that you will have a watermark on the video. The upsides are obviously that this is a very professional editor. It's got all the tools you need to edit professionally. And if you, if you like what you saw in this video, then you might want to consider purchasing it after all. And there's the video. And you'll notice the only thing it's got is that little power director in the bottom corner, which obviously you might not want. If you have any questions about the subject of this video or anything related to how to make a video, then let us know in the comments section below. Remember, you can also get lots more free tutorials like this on our YouTube channel, as well as by visiting our website travelvids.tv. My name is Dean Parman, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.